Hello guys, so in my previous video I created this del function to delete nodes from a linked list and in this video I am going to show you how to search for a node in a linked list and what searching means is now suppose the user enters 15 as the number to be searched then searching will begin from the first node first this node will be searched then this node will be searched then this node will be searched in sequence and if the number entered by the user is found in any of the nodes then a message should be printed on the screen that number found in the list and if that number is not found then a message should be displayed that number not found in the list here i have declared the function the name of my function is search and it takes two arguments start and num we have to pass start into this function because start is the entry point into the linked list and num is the number to be searched. This printf statement will display a message to the user that enter 5 to search. Case 5. Now this printf statement will display a message to the user and this scanf statement will allow the user to enter a number to be searched. This is the function call when the search function will be called then values of start and num will be passed into the search function. And now I am going to create the search function. Here I have declared a pointer variable p of type struct node and assigned p the value of start. And this is the code to search. Now let's say the user enters 15 as the number to be searched. So num here will also be 15. And this is the linked list. Now initially p is assigned the value of start which is the address of the first node. So p means first node then this while condition will be checked now p not equal to null this while condition is true because p is not equal to null p is equal to 1002 because p is storing the address of the first node then this if statement will be checked now p info means info part of this node which is 5 and info part of this node is not equal to num because the value of num is 15 entered by the user so this if condition is false so these two statements will not get executed and the control will move to this statement now p link means link part of this node which is 1004 which is the address of the next node so the address of the next node will be assigned to p and now p is storing the address of this node so p means this node then again this while condition will be checked and this time also p is not equal to null so this while condition is true so this if condition will be checked now p info means info part of this node which is 10 and info part of this node is not equal to 15 which is the number entered by the user so this if condition is false so the control will move to this statement p link means link part of this node node which is the address of the next node so the address of the next node will be assigned to p so p now means this node because p is storing the address of this node now then again this while condition will be checked and this time also p is not equal to null so this while condition is true so this if condition will be checked now p info means info part of this node which is 15 and info part of this node is equal to the number entered by the user so this if condition is true so these two statements will get executed 
this printf statement will print 15 found. Now my purpose is served. I just want to get out of this function. So with the help of this return statement, the control will move out of search function. Now if the number entered by the user is not found in any of the nodes, then this printf statement will print number not found in the list. So let's say the user enters 100 as the number and 100 is not present in any of these nodes. So what will happen is this while loop will execute till the end and this if condition will never be true. This if condition will always be false. So the first time this while loop runs, P will be here. The second time this while loop runs, P will be here. Third time this while loop runs, P will be here. Fourth time, P will be here. And fifth time, P will be at this node. And fifth time, P will be assigned the value of P link. And link part of this node will be equal to null link part of this node will be null so null will be assigned to p so p will be equal to null and next time this while loop runs then p will be equal to null so this while condition will become false so this while loop will be terminated and the control will move to this statement and this printf statement will print 100 not found in the list so this is the end of search function. Now one more feature you can add in this search function is position. So if the user enters 15 as the number to be searched, then this printf statement should print 15 found at position 3 because this is the third node. Now according to this example if the user enters 15 as the number then initially the value of position will be equal to 1. Now the first time this while loop runs the value of position will be incremented by 1 so position will become equal to 2. Now the second time this while loop runs, then again the value of position will be incremented by 1. So position will become equal to 3. And the third time this while loop runs, then this if condition will become true. And 15 found at position 3 will be printed. Now let's check this program. And let me add some nodes into the link list. So, 5 for search, and I enter 77 as the number to be searched, and it's displaying 77 found at position 4. Now I enter 100 and 100 is not present in this list. So it should display 100 not found in the list. So this was all about search function and in my next video I will show you how to count nodes in a linked list. So that's all for now and thanks for watching.